Hello, I'm back again. I'm gonna to have to sort out this creaky chair every time I'm moving it, it creaks. <laughs> so, I have second unboxing of today. And if I just go back a little bit, you'll be able to see the whole box. And it is Pink Sugar Plum, the Pamper Box. And again, this is one that I do every single month. And it just so happens, they usually actually land on the same day or a day apart, the one that I just did previously, Smart Ass and Sass. So it's like double surprise for me because I get two boxes at the same time. It's really handy, obviously they came on Friday that I got them for the weekend set. Obviously I can spend some time testing them out. I'm gonna have a nice bath later. So who wants to see what's inside? This box is an all round pamper box. So when you think about bath boxes, some of them will just be really heavy on the bath bombs and say like, oh, just bath only items. This is a bit of everything, which is why I really like this box because for me, sometimes I like to use soaps, I like to use candles, I like to use shower items. I like a, a bit of everything. If it was too many bath bombs in one box, I don't think I'd get through them for the whole month. Like I know some do and they'll contain like six or seven bath bombs. Well, for me, you know, I wouldn't have like a couple of baths a, a week. I'd maybe have one every week or one every other week. So this one is really great for me because it, it's just an all rounder. So it's also very, very reasonable on price. I'll talk about price at the end. We've got a discount code as well. So if I hold it up, it smells divine. There we go. Actually, I was collecting this from the post office the other day. I thought postman to leave my parcels, but he didn't anyway. Um, I was collecting this and I let my little boy hold it in the back of the car and he was like, oh my God, mummy, mummy, has it got bath bombs in it? Has it got bath bombs in it? I said, yeah, as I had. And he said, oh, can I have a bath? And he absolutely loves, loves bath stuff. And he has already asked me if he can have a bath later with some of the bits. So I said he can, because he, he likes to. He's already got his eye on something. I'll show you now anyway. So it comes with a card. And on the reverse, it'll tell you what's in it. And it also tells you the theme. So September 2019 theme is berries. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with this one. Just the smell of it is absolutely insane. So if I could hold it up quickly and show you, it is packed full to the brim. Let's have a look. Right, I don't know what to do first. Okay, so we'll go with these. And actually this tub is really handy as it's a reusable one. So it's something that I will keep and I'll be able to put other things in, even like wash it out and you can put kitchen stuff in it if you wanted to. But it's got that little logo on the front, can you see there? And this is Blueberry Mini Bath Bombs. Oh, that smells so nice. I wonder if I can open the... It is properly sealed as well. Oh, I can't get in here. Here we go, let's do this. Because Archie wants to use some of these as well. He said, can I use the little blue ones? I said, okay. Oh my gosh, can you see? I don't, oh God, I wish you could smell things when I watch it on unboxings. It's so nice, honestly. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten is 12. I, they are gorgeous. So you'd only need a couple of those. If you wanted to team it up with something else, you could. So that's the first item. All right, let's pop them to one side. The second one, this is what Archie's got his eye on. And if I just go right in there, you'll be able to see. And it is, I know it's back to front, but obviously we're live unboxings. Um, and it says black currant bath wobble jelly. And I don't think we've ever had anything like this in these boxes before. I've never seen a wobble jelly, not that I know of. No, definitely not. Not that, not since I've been getting them anyway. So this is quite unique. This is like a new item for me. So I imagine you scoop a little bit out and you sort of run it under the tap and then it turns into bubbles. I'm going to guess, but I'll let you know about that once I've obviously opened it and tried it. I am going to open it only purely because I know I'm going to be using it later. I ordinarily probably wouldn't if I thought I wasn't going to use it yet because I want it to dry up or anything. Ooh, look at that. Wobble, wobble, wobble. You can see my lights on there. It's lovely that. Really nice, like a purple colour. Yeah, so I'm quite happy with that. So that's the second item. Right, what should we go for next? Okay, I'll go with this one because this was the one that took my eye. This would be something that I would buy if I was to go to shop. I love strawberries and I love bath bombs when they've got those little, you know, like when you get them and they've got like a detail like that, like that one's like got like a strawberry and cream on top. And they are always the ones that I like homing on and go, oh yeah, that's very me. So this one is strawberry whole, whole ball bath fizzer. And it's massive, you can see. I'll have to forgive my nails, they need painting. Terrible at the moment. There we go. So that's the third item. I'm just stacking them up over it. Like if they're gonna fall over, I'm gonna cry or smash bath bombs. So, and this is the fourth. As I say, this is full to the brim. There's loads in this box. And this is, 
if I go right in, you'll be able to see the detail. It's like a little cupcake. And this one says, bath, bubble and beyond, strawberry surrender, fizzing bath tarts. So I'm gonna have to hide this one because I really like this one too and I don't want Archie to have it, but <laughs> it's just got, it's just like his mum to be honest. It's like, oh, I love a bath, I love a bath. So that's the four. Anything else it says on that? No, it's, uh, oh, they're called bath marbles, those mini bath bombs, by the way. So the next one is, and this, again, this is something that really impressed me. I'll show you, I'll home in on it so you see the detail. Sorry, I'm sniffing it now. So this is Raspberry Ripple Cake Slice Soap. But look at this. I know it's shrink wrapped and obviously I'll have to unshrink wrap it, but it's even got, can you see like on the bottom, like the little detail on the cake and on the top, it's got little hearts. It's massive, look how big it is. I usually chop them up. The one I had last month, it was a coconut one. Chop it in half off. I think I chop that one in half. But then I can use them. They're a little bit easier to grab. You know when you're doing that with your soap when you're washing because they're quite big. I'm going to have to think of an innovative way to chop that up. Maybe could slice it down the middle. I'll have to have a go. I'll get Rob to do it. That is so nice though. Really pretty as well. Look really nice in your bathroom on display when people come around. So that is what we are now. One, two, three, four. That was item number five. And I suppose these are two items together with this one because the, obviously the, the votive glass is separate and then you've got the Yankee candle as well. But obviously you need one of these to use that. So they've put them together. So this is red raspberry. And they don't have candles every month. It tends to be about every other month, which is really handy because obviously you want to have a nice bath. You might get a fair few uses out of your candle, but then you might not have one next month. You'll have something else and then you get one the month after. So, yep. Actually, we, I did have one last, last month. Yeah, I did. Yeah, it was that little one with the, the screwdriver on top. It was mango or something like that. It was in my bathroom. I've used it now anyway. But that's that one. So that's sort of, I would say, one, two, three, four, five. That's sort of like six because it's all in one. So there's number six. And then you get these three things. So every month you always get a sweet treat or something to eat and a tea bag and you get the little scratch card, that's upside down, sorry. So the tea bag this month is Pucker, Elderberry and Echinacea. And I've never tried that, but obviously it's a fruity one to go with the berry theme. And the bar is Naked Bar and it's Blueberry Muffin. Now I know somebody had, I think it was Nazia actually. She had this in, oh it could have been Gemma. One of them had it in a snack box and was saying it was really nice. I'm sure that's what it was, because I remember seeing it on something. But I've never tried this, but I do like blueberry, so I'm gonna give that a go. Put it in my lunchbox tomorrow. And then your scratch and reveal card. I will, I don't think I can, I did this last month and I forgot to bring something to scratch it off with, didn't I? How terrible am I? Yeah, I can't do it without something metal, but I'll scratch it off and I'll let you know what I get. But usually it's something like free bath bomb or 10% off or, um, you know, something free in your order or something like that or free delivery, um, which is really nice if you want to then order from their website because they also, as well as, the, as well as the pamper box, they also sell everything. So you can buy them individually. So you could go on and buy and put together whatever you wanted. If you wanted to make a gift box or something, you could put pick and choose what you want and get it all as one delivery. So I am, um, even the card smells like that I'm really impressed with that. So the price of this box is, and it is a bargain. Let me just scroll down so we don't get it wrong. I can't remember if it's 95 or 99 at the end. <laughs> I should remember by now, shouldn't I? Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. It's 19.99. Sometimes I'm, I'm there thinking, I know it's 20 pounds, but is it 95? But it's 19.99 a month. There's obviously postage on top of that, which is 3.95, I believe. And we do have a discount code. So if you use the code BOX20, so B-O-X-20, you'll get 20% off your first box. Now, including shipping, that makes it your first month less than £20 delivered if you work it out, because you obviously get 20% off the price of the box and then add your postage on, but it makes it less than 20 quid. And that, for all of that, is an absolute steal. I mean, if you were to send that to someone as a gift, they would be really happy and you wouldn't be able to buy all that in the shop for £20. Like, I know... I know obviously these are not a certain brand I won't mention, but if you buy a similar bath bomb like this in the shop that you all know that I'm talking about, they're like six quid each. I told, I was telling someone the other day, I bought one for Archie because he wanted it and it was a double one and it was 10 quid. 
like 10 quid for one. You use it in one bath, but this has obviously got a box full and it's 20 pounds. So I think it's well worth it. And it's obviously one lady's company. So you're supporting a small business as well at the same time, which is really, really important to me personally. So that is it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching both of my unboxings if you tuned in. And if you want to watch back, you can watch back on YouTube or on the group. If you want to read my previous reviews, you can go on the website as well, boxsession.com. And I'm just going to say that there is a little, if you want to hashtag anything for um, Pink Sugar Plum, it is hashtag PSP Bath Treats. And they do like you sharing things, obviously, on their Facebook and their Instagram. So check them out. And their website's on the bottom, which is pinksugarplum.co.uk. And that's it for me for today. Thank you very much. And see you soon. Bye.